Hello guys, so welcome back. So today we will understand the performance comparison of Spring JDBC and Spring JPA. Now, before going See into my that. example, I have implemented uh, two different things. One is a Spring Batch JPA and another is Spring Batch JDBC. Now, if you see what I have done, I have a zip code mapper. So let's go at the model first. So this is the plain JDBC model. I have zip code and ID zip code, city name and state name. And meanwhile, I'm also reading it from the CSV. So I have almost a lot of records in CSV. And then once I read these records, what happens is I create a spring batch. So my spring batch, if you have not seen what it does in the previous tutorial, I have given an in-depth code of how do we configure the spring batch. So this is how I, I have configured my spring batch. The only difference that you will see over here is this item writer. And when I do a zip code mapper, I have created a random integer, random long value, which, which stores the ID. Now, this is my simple zip code configuration, which inserts, it is basically a writer, which inserts the data into database. And this is the step. So if you see, uh, JPA on the other hand, so this is my JPA application. So in my JPA, I have not done something different. What I have done is this is the, sorry, this is the place where I do a save. So it is reading by chunk and by chunk. I think it is thousand as of now. Yes, it is thousand. So it reads the data and it does save all. Now, this is the only difference that I have along with that. I have zip code as the entity. All those JPA specifications are there. Here I have used uh, PGSQL. Uh, I think both of the places have used PGSQL. So there are no difference in terms of the database. The only difference you will find is, is I have used Spring Boot Starter Data JPA. And in the other application, I have used Spring, Spring Boot Starter Data JDBC. So this is, a, this is the basic difference between the both these applications. So now let's go ahead and run this application. So first I will run this, sorry. Yeah. So first I will check if my database is clear or not. So this is zip code database. So no, it's not there. So I'll truncate the data. So it's just truncating. So if I truncate, let's see the data. Yeah, there's no data over here. So this is fine. So now I will run, I will go ahead and run my spring batch JDBC. I will spring batch JDBC so first let's run MN Spring Boot Run. I think they should work directly because I have not done anything extra. If you see over here, it got executed in one second to 24 milliseconds. So this is the time you should note. And if I see, let's check the zip code count. So if you see the number of count is 33121. Right, this is the number of records that got inserted. Now we'll switch back to we'll switch back to our Spring Batch JPA. Now let's clean up the DB again. So this is where the magic will happen. Sorry, I just clicked trinket casket. Let's see if the data is not there. Yes, there is no data over there. So what we'll do is we'll just again run MWIN Spring Boot Run. So now this is where the magic happens. If you see, so it is trying to execute the step. Yes, it got executed in three seconds, 83, 383 milliseconds. So you know the difference. So there is a considerable amount of difference on the execution time that we see for such a large set of data. For a small set of data, you might not notice it. But if you see for this large set of data, I have three, three, one, two, one rows affected. And the reason it happens is because Spring JPA works in a different manner. JPA does a ORM mapping and it's major advantage over JDBC because it converts object oriented Java code to the backend database without any time consuming extra or extra effort. But if you see about JDBC, JDBC provides you more control on the database. And, and it, it does give you more control. So before finalizing or before going into a conclusion, which database or what technologies you will use, you should consider this use case 
this is pretty much what I wanted to show and there is a considerable amount of difference so it is it, it should be wise enough you should you should uh, you should use your brain enough to understand what is my requirement is my performance is my top most priority if performance is my top most priority you can still tweak it uh, tweak it using jpa but if your fraction of second also matters i think jpa should not be a good use case so that's it so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe